Um, health and safety, gas certificate, electrical certificate, EPC, fire safety inspection. It's not legal, but it's very sensible to do. What if somebody died in your house and you hadn't done one? What happens to you then? It seems to me in my amateur non-legal reading that that is a very grey area. I've read loads of stuff from um, both the council and then the fire service. There are really great videos online and there seems to be a grey area. So things like you check for the plugs to make sure they're not cracked. You check for wires uh, that are trailing, you know, common sense stuff. Um, but uh, LACORS has a whole guide on fire safety inspections. I spent like a day trying to figure out what height fire extinguishers could be at because everybody says something different but basically think about it if the smoke and they're crawling so it needs to be um, a meter my understanding a meter d uh, from the ground because if they're crawling they can get a fire extinguisher check that fire black why do tenants nick fire blankets from the kitchen what earthly use is it in your life as you moved out? I mean, were you playing frisbee or what? You know, so just check that the fire blankets are back in the kitchens. Remember FSD, flame service, was it? FSD, which is basically the automatic gas shut off for flats and shared houses. So just simple stuff like that. Make sure you're compliant. Um, pat testing, again, my understanding is it's not legal, but it's probably quite sensible. I actually don't do it, but it's something we're probably going to introduce. Legionnaire's disease, well, Rachel's thing about running the water so that um, they sign to show that you've ran the water. Um, and then preventative work, which we talked about yesterday. My 19-year-old son has the joy of uh, preventing. Just Jonathan Oh, Gupster. Oh, that's very nice of him. So we put down, I mean, I have terribly thick hair. So in my own shower, if I didn't pre preventative work, it would get clogged. And, you know, are tenants really going to uh, scrape all bits of um, fat and stick it in the bin or are they just going to whap it down the sink? Of course they are. So just do the drain clearance. Um, technically, they're supposed to do light bulbs themselves. And I used to be really Scottish about that and like stubborn. I don't mean mean, I just mean stubborn. And now I'm just like, oh, for heaven's sake, Suze. It's actually fire safety. Make sure it's well lit. So just do all of that kind of stuff. We do it once a year, preventative work.